tonight, Britain's prime minister has increased the terror level to critical, believing another attack is imminent. This is coming after last night's deadly explosion after the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. So here's what we know at this hour. 22 people were killed, nearly 60 others injured. And police have identified the suspected suicide bomber, 22-year-old Salman Abedi. He grew up in Manchester in a Libyan neighborhood. We also know ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. And Ariana Grande has suspended the rest of her tour. And tonight, we're hearing from survivors of the attack and learning more about the victims. A vigil was held outside the Manchester Cathedral today for the victims of last night's terrorist bombing. You cannot defeat us because love in the end is always stronger than hate. In London, the royal family paused to remember those who died in the attack. This mother and daughter were enjoying Ariana Grande's concert last night at the packed Manchester Arena. The show was just wrapping up when they heard an explosion. We just ran. I don't really know which entrance we came out of. We just ran. A crowd of panicked teens and their parents climbed over seats and railings trying to get to safety. I was terrified and people were running up the stairs and dragging people on the floor. And by the time we got up to the top, there was smoke everywhere, there was blood on the floor. Officials say 22 people died in the attack. Among them, eight-year-old Safi Rose Russos and 18-year-old student Georgina Callender. This is Georgina with Ariana Grande in 2015. Police carried out two search warrants in the city suburbs today, arresting a 23-year-old man believed to be connected to the attack. I will call them from now on. President Trump responded to news of the attack while he was in Israel, calling the terrorists losers and said terrorists and extremists must be driven out of our society forever. Ariana Grande played the Pepsi Center last month during her Dangerous Woman tour and with a long list of summer concerts planned here around our state, we wanted to know what local venues are doing to make sure you stay safe. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live at the Pepsi Center tonight. Jen? Shannon and Ann, obviously what happened in Manchester has the attention of concert venues here in Colorado. AEG Live, who produces live events here at the Pepsi Center in Red Rocks, says that they evaluate safety and security concerns before every event. But they went into minimal details about exactly what that looks like. Now, at most large venues like Coors Field and the Pepsi Center, metal detectors and bag checks are the norm. AEG Live also started using metal detectors at Fiddler's Green last summer. Some of the smaller venues only check bags and keep out anyone who refuses a screening. The problem is the areas that aren't secure, like the area between the Manchester Arena and the train station where that blast happened. It's those soft targets that former Jeffco SWAT team leader says those are the toughest to secure. And they know once they start these attacks, uh, it's very unlikely that they'll be stopped immediately and, and they'll be able to kill and wound as many people as they possibly can before they are stopped. Now, it is important to note the Department of Homeland Security says there are no current threats to any music venues in the U.S., but that we could start seeing increased security at places like the Pepsi Center as a precaution. Coming up on Denver 7 at 6, I'll tell you some things that you should watch for at an event and what you can do to keep yourself safe. Reporting live at the Pepsi Center tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Thank you, Jen. We also checked in with organizers for Monday's Boulder Boulder 10K. They tell us no additional security measures will be added. Now, after the Boston Marathon bombing, more security was put into place.